Well, even though that um, refugee challenge was well known in Europe, uh, it was never the case in Latvia because Latvia has never been the final destinations for refugees. Usually, they choose to have uh, to live in some Western countries, and then one day there are 1,000 in day. We went to the government by saying that, well, let's do the refugee centrum here in Riga. We are ready to operate this. The, the idea was to create a one-stop agency where all the governmental, municipal and non-governmental services are located in a like, one-stop agency. The housing was always the issue for all the cities in Europe, all the capital cities, including Riga. We were lucky because there we have a quite significant uh, community of local Ukrainians who, who was ready to open the doors to, to the to relatives, to the friends, as well as many Latvians and also Russians living there opened their doors to the family. So the first wave of uh, refugees was actually hosted in, in, uh, in the families and uh, I'm, I'm really thankful and proud of that. The second uh, challenge is schooling because the Riga as a city is a center of education in Latvia. All the universities, all the top uh, colleges and, and, uh, and schools are located here and people come from all the cities from Latvia, so usually the schools are quite crowded. I think this was a good example what we can do if government, the city and non-governmental organizations work on the same direction from the same uh, target uh, and facing the same uh, challenge. It's a very good lesson for us uh, as a city and I think this will help us on, on a future, not only on, on, on uh, uh, some crisis who can come, but also to be much more open as a city for people around the world. I think we all understand what happens in, in, in Ukraine. Uh, Probably I know a little bit better than maybe others because I do speak Russian and I do understand Ukrainian, so I do follow what's happening there. But you can understand it by here, but only when you visit Ukraine you can start to understand it by your heart. Because then you really see the cruelty, the brutality of the, the, the occupants, the, the, the enormous size of, uh, of, of uh, the damage uh, this army has made to this country, but also the bravery of those people, the, the resistance uh, of, of Ukrainians, it's really the challenge. And I think every politician who has visited Ukraine, it, it's a, you know, some kind of changing of your mindset that you need to act quick. Uh, and uh, the message from the President Volodymyr Zelensky was uh, quite simple. First of all, let us help uh, win this war. We know that you, can't, that you as a city can't provide us the, the, the heavy weapons but, or munition, but you can help us to win in the information war and fight against the propaganda. Please help us to spread the truth. Uh, and we as opinion leaders, uh, we, I, think we, I think we have a, quite a significant power in that. The second is we need the support right now. There are cities without the electricity, without the heating, without the water. So we need support right now uh, and we can't wait until tomorrow. And third is um, the war will end one day with the victory of Ukraine and we will gonna rebuild this uh, country, rebuild those cities. Please start to be ready to provide us uh, this support because you know how to, 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 to build the cities. And that's why for us it was so important to send the generators to Ukraine till Christmas. So yesterday we sent the first truck full with generators and the heaters and there were a few more trucks to come. And on uh, this week we, are, uh, we will uh, deliver the next uh, initiative uh, to help the cities who are without the water. I'm so uh, proud that the Euro cities took this initiative and showed to the other cities and all the world what cities can do. The Mayor Klitschko was in this meeting, unfortunately, uh, remotely. The first thing what Madame Ursula von der Leyen uh, said uh, by a meeting as mayors, she said, welcome my mayors. And for us it was imp so important to hear that uh, we are the part of, uh, of, of this story and we are the mayors of, of, of Europe Union. We want to just to underline how important are the cities in this crisis. 
And uh, since we know that the uh, European Parliament and the European Commission works now on the plans how to rebuild uh, the Ukraine, how to support them, uh, we said that please don't forget about the cities because cities could play a significant uh, role in this, even, even more than the governments. Uh, because we know how to do the job. Uh, we are much closer to, the, to our residents. We understand the needs of the, of the residents. And uh, she said, well, I think this is the great idea. And uh, so right away, uh, um, there were some people invited to this meeting by saying that, okay, let's find out what cities can do right now and what will be the role of the cities in, in the future. So, as I said in this meeting, let's make cities great again. This is <laughs> what we had to do in this century.